Hey everybody and welcome to the last of the uh, Seven Max Devil's Playoffs commentary. It's for episode 5, the City That Dares Not Sleep. I'm Chuck Jordan, the uh, season designer, and I wrote this episode. Uh, I'm Mike Silly. I don't think I did much of anything <laughs> on this episode. Get out. You wrote some pickup dialogue. Oh, I wrote some pickup dialogue. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Jake Rush, and I directed this episode. I'm Andrew Langley. I programmed on this one. Dennis Lamar, lead cinematic artist. Turn of event that transformed Max First off, I wanted to insert a story I forgot from 301. Everybody was asking, we were wondering why the uh, alien brain says donut button Sam and Max at the end of it. The story behind that is um, David and Alan, uh, for season two, we had a lot of lines where Sam got bleeped out, and uh, the script just said censored, but David and Alan didn't want to just be doing random cursing in there, and so he would always say button, and for a longer one he would say donut button, <laughs> and so now that's basically uh, a random swear, it's just donut button. <laughs> yeah, so, so basically the alien brain is saying, F you Sam and Max. <laughs> this is great misdirection. One of these characters will betray the Sam and Max. <laughs> and yet he's dead center. I feel like it's the most obvious, maybe. But <laughs> it's perhaps. <laughs> we'll that was the moment I got attached to from the beginning of the season, because I mentioned it a couple times, but that movie, The Beast Must Die, always had the um, the werewolf break at the end. And here, quoting William Butler Yeats, the yes. second coming. We do R-C- read books R-C. here. <laughs> The episode was originally called uh, Slouching Towards Brooklyn, but that was kind of a hard sell. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing says it's like the worst for It was, it was, it was, it was like perhaps a bit too pretentious even for us to actually title our episodes. So. Oh, I haven't seen great. the Apocalypse Now. But yeah. <laughs> You're going to be hearing a lot of, wow, I haven't seen, seen that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same here. It's like... I, I, I saw the writing for this. Yeah. And it also, I, I wrote a script and basically said, here, Jay, you make this. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is the only episode we're recording before anyone's played it, so yeah. um, you, we know that the fans hate this part the most, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's convincing static. It's like when oh, they record it's like a... Uh, TV static texture. Oh, no. Mama Bosco got a wig. Remember, wasn't, there some, <laughs> wasn't there some discussion as to whether she should stay in her clone form at the end of 304? There was minor discussion. They said, no, 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 she needs to get a wig. It was just, yeah, I, I can't look at bald Mama Bosco. No, I don't mean yeah. bald, I mean ghost. I thought, we thought about maybe having to go back to be ghost, but... Ah, There's still some Max in there. I know it. Everybody else reset. A lot of people were worried about uh, Mr. Paperweight dying at the end of 4, but it looked to me like, no, he could still be there. He talks all the time throughout the finale. It's weird that... But, but, but yeah, uh, we snuck in that Apocalypse Now thing just because... Uh, yeah, Monster Max is so cool, and we realized that I deliberately asked the people on 304 to never show a full body shot of Monster Max, and then his character introduction in this That's was so just a sort of a random shot of him walking behind the building right before Lincoln gives a speech. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe we'll just make a crazy badass thing with a bunch of helicopters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yes, to that hologram that I asked people to make and put a lot of work into. <laughs> <laughs> <What's that? laughs> and then it shows up in just this cutscene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Myas added that thing where paperweight. I'm on the case. No. Myas, I think, fell in love with paperweight. Yeah, in the course yeah of he episode. did. Like he, any moment he could give paperweight. He more. loved working this, with him. This was yeah. the episode that paperweight's finally standing next to everyone else, and it's revealed that he's, he's like three feet yeah, tall. Yeah. So. <laughs> I really wish he was an action figure. Yes. No, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> Torsten. Torsten Fietzek, opening montage. Yeah. When you complete Power Act 1, watch. we thought it would be funny if there was a montage <laughs> recapping all of Act 1, and I asked Chuck about that. I was like, would it be cool if we just showed everything again, but with a Waka Chica guitar? And <laughs> it was okay. And Jared with the music. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Perfect. I, showed, uh, I still remember showing Jake and Nick the uh, Space 1999 opening credits for the first time and just blowing your mind. <laughs> I know, I was like, why haven't I seen this before? Nick and I watch <laughs> yeah, it like 30 times yeah. on loop after I that. know, I sit next to you and I <laughs> heard that music uh, for about a month. And funny. then and then you heard our sound alike for an additional two weeks. Yeah, but... And this is the most majestic shot ever in a sound. Yeah. Well, that should be the poster. Yeah. Yeah, Torsten and I remember we worked on this for a while and kept coming up to us and just going like, you guys have any more ideas for shots? Like, I've, I've done 50 things. And we were always like, no, good luck. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
And then this is the actual part that matters. Yeah. Does Sam Max have a history with corn dogs that I'm not aware of? This is <laughs> season <laughs> became all about Max the corn loves dogs. Corn dogs well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's based on a yeah. questionable yeah. thing. <laughs> I was wondering which one you'd pick. The other option was uh, was it based on a controversial blog post, video games can never be art. Yeah, yeah. Mm. we picked the 80s adult video tape. I'm terrible. much happier with it. Yeah. So what was the inspiration for making the insides of Max look very retro 70s, 60s? Uh, desperation. Well, we, no, we knew from the start that we wanted... Oh, cool, I haven't seen the split screen. So. We knew from the start... Uh, actually, this episode, funnily enough, changed the least from the very first you know, brainstorm versions. Because people just stop caring. We always knew that you were going to go inside <laughs> yeah, Max. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we always knew that you were going to go inside Max, but originally you go inside normal size Max. Yeah, that yeah. was originally Max just died after the fight with Charlie Hotep and you'd have to shrink down? Yeah, you use Mama Bosco's like shrink Inner space? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but then but we wanted Max in space. But this is cooler because you get the, uh, you get giant, you get the giant Max too. Yeah. That was, and, uh, that was way back when there was like an alien probe in his brain. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the very first version. He's going to ex actually explain Super Bowl, which I'm kind of glad didn't happen. Yeah, yeah now Super Bowl's always just says, what do you mean? Oh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's just a big dick about it. I like this this puzzle when oh, it's later oh, referred to by yeah. Sal and uh, is basically making the player feel stupid that they didn't figure this puzzle out <laughs> sooner. <laughs> oh, that is great. Yeah, you could have figured that out. And it's like, oh. oh. I like alienating people. Because I think I got stuck on this. <laughs> but, yeah, so, so uh, Fantastic Voyage has been parodied so many times that we wanted to make sure that it didn't feel exactly like yet another Fantastic Voyage parody. So that's why it's... Great. It's uh, the inside of a 70s house. Oh, I like that Max has an off-model neon sign of himself. <laughs> <laughs> These sprites are great. They were created by Derek? Yeah, Derek. Sam's <laughs> extremely happy. <laughs> Sam loves video games. Yes. As evidenced in 204. That cabinet's a rip-off, uh, excuse me, homage to <laughs> Tron? Zaxxon. No, Zaxxon, yeah. 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 See, that's another one. The, oh, yeah, you can see Axon. it. Axon. Yeah. They're oh, yeah. nerves. You're connecting brain nerves, and they're, they're called axons. axons. Yes. Do you get it? It's yeah. comedy. It's, it's edutainment. It's a highbrow comedy. I think that was one of those things where uh, you, I remember Chuck would come by every once in a while and just, like, randomly walk into Nick and I's office and just be like, hey, uh, so a random joke, and then say it, and then... Either we'd get it or we didn't, but I think yeah, that was one of those ones yeah. where I got I it. Forgot that I guess we represented the radioactive brain core as a red LED. Yeah. <laughs> Bold. I put some, yeah, put some music shift stuff in there too. Like as he faints the music. Of course you did. Yeah, this I is love music pitches. Yeah. I love the flaming Max says. They look yeah. so good. I'm glad we finally got the old, you know, shot glass image incorporated into the game. Yeah. It was originally, I think, like at the end of the season, Max was going to turn into a ball of intellect. Yeah, that was one of the ideas that Steve uh, was fixated on. Looks like some. I guess the point of the exercise playing Max heads really is that you want to keep Max in the episode yeah. hey, as much as possible, and the way to do that was the weird flaming Max heads. That yeah, was that ever really even explained Sam and Max while they're there? Max. I'm not sure. Well, Max is de deploying spores, yeah, right. which are feeding off the psychic energy of dreams. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So it totally makes sense. 14 month pregnant Sybil. Yeah. And the, what was that? And the, the most that misogynistic out. puzzle the, ever. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> The outturned <laughs> belly button on her. Uh, we have a long cut. history from <laughs> season two, especially, of Sybil is such a boring character, and just so we always just end up making her basically offensive. Which is <laughs> 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 the offensive woman yeah. obstacle yeah. in the games written by a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Although I was saying earlier, I think the thing I really like about this season is like we did restrain ourselves with the reoccurring characters early on and then as oh, yeah. and then this episode we started as like, eh, let's just have just some fun. Oh, you know. Yeah, these are all just candy. And it worked out really well. This Ruba thing uh, made me cry because yeah. I'd spent way too long on that's okay. one of my favorite gags. In the yeah, show. I know. I get like. To. I think it's where he keeps his <laughs> junk. <cut>. After the, <laughs> I think after the playtest, I heard that was like everybody's favorite part. And I'm like, really? Yeah, everyone. I was in one of the the playtest reviews, and, and the, it's not a robot. Is, it's a small robotic sorry, right. vacuum device. <laughs> there you go. That sucks up uh, tissues and can also make. Uh, Copies. You can also say it's a Star Wars <laughs> mouse robot. Oh, it's, it's also a fax copier? Yes. It's a <laughs> I feel like it should be going like... Eh, eh, eh. 
So, Mike, yeah. you were happy about this. You were happy about this room, right? Yes, I was very happy about this to see props that I had not seen in 15 years done in 3D. I think only they're they're not the exact props. They're no. legally different, different props. <laughs> I think only us and Pixar can make a cockroach adorable. Oh, she, Nikki, Nikki Rad. Nikki Rad. Yeah. yeah. Voice of Sam Mac. She would record a line, and it's like it's normal for a voice actor to read a line, and then. All of us in the bo- <laughs> all of us in the booth crack up. But she would read a line and then she would crack up. <laughs> she was like, "Hey, that was pretty good, wasn't it?" Just get over to Battery Park. All yeah. right, this death. This is terrible. Is the yes. oh, man. saddest. I remember it's Jessica showed this in like Animation Week. We were just like, "Oh God!" There's there was a more standard one yeah. where he just sort of yeah. fell, That's and then there was this one where he just curls up and just <laughs> crunches into a ball. And since this oh we're recording this before this episode is out, I have no idea what people are going to think about this because people love Sal yeah. so much. And we pretty definitively, I think, killed it's him. No, he gets, it, he gets jettisoned out, and then he lands on a planet with a Genesis project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, that's true. I thought I, yeah. I thought, wasn't that, I mean, joking aside, wasn't, wasn't that part of the end of, wasn't there a part where there was a more elaborate funeral for him? Or well, we were, we were that up? We were, I wanted to do the more elaborate Star Trek funeral. Star Trek 2 funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Where he gets shot out of This is the pose part? Okay, so oh, this yeah. is all Jessica. Yeah. yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I was wondering what you meant. <laughs> 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 so battery park. Battery park. Do you get it? Batteries <laughs> never <laughs> die. It's pretty <laughs> Simpsonesque. <laughs> I love that lightning. That's a good yeah. lightning. Yeah. Like Greta, Greta. I was like, can you please make it look like 80s Ghostbusters lightning? Like, I, mean, <laughs> I don't like, know what I'm sure. And then he did, and it was the best. It's like, <laughs> you don't have to say please. It's like, yes, absolutely. Make it look like a cheesy 80s movie. Like, oh, no. <laughs> this is another thing we wanted to do very early. Yeah, this is, like, yeah, this is the moment. One. This is like the first moment that we wanted in the entire season. This is cool when you know this moment. You start working on this series, and then you know this moment is going to happen. And yeah. you're like, oh, man. And like, yeah. such and such months I'm going to get the Get to hear finally. It was a huge like, disappointment. Even if people no, can sorry, figure out, <laughs> <laughs> even if people have already figured out the narrator is the bad guy, it's still. Do you mind? I'm trying to see that you get that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> oh, sorry. doing inside Max's? The reflections were added by Eric. I'm glad. I think. Yeah, we snuck those in at the last second. I'm glad. And the red tie really made it look. Yeah, and then we had to uh, change out Sam's textures and. Well, we wanted it to feel oh, like cool. when you once you got into the narrator's room, we put the reflections in so that it felt like it was actually a little bit of a space. <laughs> I took out the footstep sounds trying to make it creepy. Yeah, we wanted I to put the Freud called it the super ego, but I didn't. Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that's it, because Jake was upset about the uh, you're upset about the narrator. I ended up laggard, but now I love it. Yeah. Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Forgive me, I'm lashing out. <laughs> 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 well, the narrator is like the you smelled something bad. This is one of my favorite dialogues in the entire season. So yeah. Kid Me On as the narrator is one of my favorite things ever. Eric did the, the choreography on the narrator here, and it's just he's, he's such a bitch. He's <laughs> <laughs> really kind of soft, like, uh, it's kind of like the alien brain in episode one. Just kinda, just, I hate you, actually. They're like a, a little yeah. sassy. And <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, even if I wanted to. I really wish we'd been able to, like, has reached critical levels. one narrator comes out of the room, he turns the color, like, Wizard of Oz style. But I, I, know, I know you hate that. Idea. I thought about that. Well, I, I, I liked that if we, if we make Sam black and white here, you get the cool moment of all the characters in black and white, and then when the narrator pops out, then you get the cool moment of the black and white character in the color world. So yeah. we can yeah. sort of... It doesn't make any sense that Sam is color here, but the narrator is black and white. Or Sam is black and white here, but the narrator is black and white outside. But also, we couldn't do it. We could have done it. Also, yeah, why, why start making sense at this point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are rules? There are rules. Oh, yes. Hey, you finally get to see Flint kicking some of that. Oh, Feeding God. Gorillas. Oh, this is the best. Surprising. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad they finally got that in. There was a, For the Perfect. longest time, yeah. like the Flint's entry for the season was him pulling a uh, knife out of his back. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's make like so much, and he's like, he can't really have that because he because it's a hatchet in the head. Or <laughs> yeah. Puzzle, yeah. yeah. But this was like, oh, we gotta have Flint pull a knife out of his back, throw it into the head of a minion who falls out of the way to reveal Skunk Ape. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, that was pretty epic. And, uh, I kind of have a thing for girls. Prison. I mean, what? 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 Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this episode benefited in a nice way from it being right sort of on the 
brink of a bunch of studio downtime because there was this like two week glorious period where the entire animation department was like, what do you guys need? It's like, uh, how about Flint throws, pulls a knife out of his bag and gets a minion in the head. Like, okay, we can do that. What? How about like minions climbing up the walls and like Flint flips them over? Oh yeah, whatever, we'll put that in the game. What? Yeah. And I'm just blindly typing along, big James Bond ending. Yeah, the only thing, <laughs> right. the only thing missing you guys is like make a, it work. The only thing missing is like a minion on a catwalk where an explosion goes off and he just sort of like flips it <laughs> away from it. We did get the minion with his head wedged into a TV getting I electrocuted do. by sparks though. That was my favorite thing. I was like, I, you brought me over and showed me that, and I was like, oh, he should twitch with it. And then it, right when I said it, it happened. Like, oh, perfect. this is the gag we really oh, wanted. To yeah, this is good. Several <laughs> water breaks and it's <laughs> good time. That was another one. It did come from Steve. Yes. <laughs> that joke and do you find my warmth alarming, <laughs> Sam? Those are both Steve those, gags. Those, those are the two from the, the, the milestone <laughs> meetings. And I wrote those in capital letters in the notebook, and those had to go into the season. Here comes the continued abuse of paperweight. <laughs> save Sybil. Save, save Sybil. Save, save, save Sybil. I wonder how many Max there actually are. Save There's like five two. or six. Save <laughs> uh, Sybil. Uh, yeah. uh, what font is that? They oh, live yeah. font bold. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. It says when I would. not going yeah, to I'm unless sure. we move. What? Oh, yes, the baby. Whatever. No. Max is actually good. Yeah, I love that. Like, <laughs> oh. who's this guy? He's the personification of Max's super ego. Ah, oh, makes sense. <laughs> and Sal's still there. <laughs> yeah. Made a terrible mistake. Max is worth saving. Well, he has to be there for a clue for the vet that no one understood. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen a dead cocker lie in a position for a long time, but they never decompose. Ever. They stay pristine. No doubt, there's something in here you've overlooked. Myas, who did this cutscene, he also got really excited about the narrator just sort of halfway turning to the camera and then looking at you. It's all over this. Wait a second. This isn't the tear dot. I was hoping we were going to put self shadowing on the narrator, but that giant sort of hair thing he has in front of his face is always casting <laughs> shadows on his face. It's another Torsten, Torsten cutscene. Yeah. Jessica was careful to make sure Sybil landed on her butt there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's Lincoln Pandemic. Why does it matter? Our head is killing us. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> is that a poof? That was a yeah. It's called the term is a music flame. is great. Poof 2.0. Sad. Max's brain caught fire. Soon to explode. Quick, giant Max, get out of there! The last Mantron is headed your way. We're all just awestruck. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good at what we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so tragic. <laughs> Also, I love that those shots by Thorsten. Yeah. Yeah, I had a uh, one of the guys who got a review copy sent me a tweet, a uh, Twitter message. You can call it a tweet. It's cool. A tweet. Yeah, he's <laughs> tweeting at me. He said, "Just saw the ending. So sad. Sniff." I was like, "What?" Because it's been like go? four months. <laughs> 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 oh, this is. Ah, it's like. The ending of Casablanca. I, uh, I love that we got the radio music of the typical like getaway between the two villains. Yes, like, like the cheesy rock rock rockabilly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that got in. That's so good. I like how Stinky never figured out about her phone Just all season long. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, people keep teleporting to her phone. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I also like the introduction that or the the revelation that Stinky was a mermaid. Yes. We've been planning like how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? And then finally, in the last episode, I think it's optional dialogue where she's like, yeah. "Oh yeah, I'm a mermaid." <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's the weirdest exposition in a video game ever. If you paid attention, though, the cockroach and the mermaid were a classic oh, vaudeville oh, act in the 302. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to point out here, I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but that is Grandpa Stinky <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand. I was like, why is he wearing that sailor hat? Daniel gave him the squinty eyes and gave him the sailor hat. He hasn't been changed back yet. Less than one week old. Try this, Mama Bosco. It should be clean. It's green. This is actually going to work. This is green and viscous. 
This should only take well, a Well, the original minutes. idea was this would work, and then we're like, oh, maybe well, it doesn't so work, and then... Well, that was, no, that was the safety. It was like if everybody hated they the idea of it. killing off one of the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> we love killing main characters. We could say, oh, look, it's okay. It's okay, there's a clone. Yeah. But we didn't get any, you know, we didn't get that much objection to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember the, the like, four Welcome false back. endings was a joke in a design Ready? meeting, and then we all sort of walked out of the room. Yeah, that's pretty and then came awesome. back like, no, that's <laughs> totally the real ending. I joked that the, the hilarious thing would have been uh, if you only got the real ending do. if you had pre-ordered the entire season. <laughs> well, you also <laughs> suggested <laughs> if, if it detected that you were writing a pirated copy, this would be the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't think we have the ending where it's revealed that it all it is all controlled by a dog in some control room, right? Oh. Like the Silent Hill ending? It's in the snow globe. That secret ending may be on the DVD. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no confirmation. Yeah. Super Bowl was too upset. He had to run away. Look at that. So sad. Oh, poor Sam. Battery Park. Wow, you really waited till the end of the credits. Twist oh, yeah. the knife. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure people know about Ocelot and DJ. <laughs> 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 did you just diss somebody's pets? Uh, they probably did. Well, now. Ocelot and DJ uh, lost their <laughs> new franchise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the name of the. the we lost plot. the rights to Sam and Max, so we were replaced by Ocelot and DJ. Jamma, it's Jamma Tracks. One's an Ocelot. Yeah, a <laughs> <laughs> they skateboard everywhere instead of using the design. Well, this is a really horrible way to end the season. It oh, is. It's way the too best. sad. <laughs> I can't believe that you guys actually did this. See, this is where we would have done the check to see if you pirated it. No, we were like with the with the what? God, I always meant to do a, an animation of them of Sam and Max running by the Statue of Liberty, a la Punch Out. Oh, and I have to say, I really love Jared's take on the uh, Incredible Hulk version of the uh, the piano uh, yeah. of the, yeah. the, the Scott Gates game. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Holy beer battered princes of Maine and kings of New England in a glass bottom boat with a trip hop. Ever DJ since the end of season two. The Miss Teen do you want to reveal that? It, it, it was like, it's what it's the it's heck it's are we going to do it's with it's the uh, Sam and Max and the time traveling elevator? I thought you were. <laughs> I, yeah. Where's the <laughs> Nick and I, when we were putting all this stuff together, we kept talking about the idea that Max would be talking about this, and then when Sam turned around, Max would just roll a corpse out of the elevator and shake <laughs> <laughs> it off screen. I'm like, oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Oops. But obviously, we did the Sam, <laughs> the Sam skeleton from. Right. <laughs> Too. He's like, he's I dumping the body in the East River in the past. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> like, oh, hey. Which? So this was nobody could decide on which ending was their favorite. I think this was my choice. Yeah. That they go off in the time traveling elevator. Oh, this is also funny. Hmm. Then I hope if there ever is a season four, this is them returning and be like, oh, that was fun. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. You did not do a get before capturing this. <laughs> nope. Nope. Because that's. That's that's Sam's hat that we're looking at, not this. <laughs> You're just confusing people now. Sam comes back for his hat. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Where's the American flag waving? That's in episode 104. And oh. this is ending B. Ending B. It's, yeah. like, it's like the movie Clues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye to these characters and the decapitated Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> And the squished clones. Wow, we really held on that moment, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just were hoping Are you, you sure were you don't want to turn the game I was Alt F4 out. <laughs> That's how I quit a game, usually. Oh, hi, Sam. Holy beer battered princes of Maine and kings of New Did we update the time machine at all for this season? No, yeah. Yeah. Derek, Derek just put a bunch of really nice lighting on it, so it looks like... I like the Max digging lint out of his navel during this. Yeah, when Nick... Uh, put together these cutscenes. He tried to put as many just me. stupid Max gestures oh, yeah. in as he possibly could. Picking his teeth, picking his blood button. There's no arm to fart though. Powers. He's saying I, my favorite thing is uh, the, the close-up of Max is facing. It was horrible this. while he's smiling. <laughs> that <way>. <laughs> That's <laughs> a very Steve Purcell uh, yeah, uh, comic thing. It was exactly like in one of the yeah, comics. It's my favorite. Yeah, the dialogue at the end here, I think Jake wrote the first version of. And it's referencing all the villains from the uh, early first draft the of the banker. season. The, yeah, banker the banker and, uh, and the, the queen rat. Queen, queen rat were the uh, oh, I was really hoping the banker episodes. was going to happen. And 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 the banker the sort of turned into Kringle all time ago. Yeah. 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 Well, I can still drool on her till she begs me to stop. Oh, you crack me up, little The giant roach? <laughs> you gotta have a giant roach. 
What? I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end by horrifying Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed the season. And uh, I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Donut button. <laughs>